show that takes your leisure time seriously. Camping has come on a long way in the last few years. Some tents seem more like hotels with TVs, fridges, fully fitted kitchens. So it's no surprise that it's really become popular. Here to tell us about the joys of camping and to throw some light on a range of camping equipment is journalist and camping expert Clive Tully. Good to see you, Clive. Welcome. Hello. Now, you're obviously a very, very keen camper because you actually go all around the world with your backpack and everything, don't you? What's the big attraction? I think it's freedom, just allows you to get out to where you want to go. Um, I like to go out into the mountains, but of course not everybody wants to do that, campsites. Um, and just seeing things that you wouldn't normally get to. Um, I just think some of the best sunsets I've ever seen have been when I've been out camping. Yeah, it's like being a tortoise, isn't it? it Having is. your home <laughs> on your back. Let's have a look at some of these tents. I like this one in particular because it's a good sort of solid family tent, which is the sort I would think of, of buying. Tell me about it. How many berths? This one sleeps six people and uh, is partitioned off, so you've got sort of uh, three lots of two. This is a typical family frame tent, it's sort of cotton and steel or aluminium bungalow, really. Quite and a traditional this, shape. This easy, to, really, easy to erect? Um, they'll take a bit of time, so once you've got it up, you won't necessarily want to sort of move on the following morning. And um, how much kind would of they thing. cost? You're looking at £200 upwards, and you can go up to £800, £1,000 for the really big ones. Yeah. Well, it's not bad. I mean, if it starts at about 200, we've got a medium range one here. Sleeps four, I believe, doesn't it? This one sleeps four. This is a, a vis a vis tent. Um, so we've got the living area and a bedroom on either side. Much more of a modern shape, this one, Much isn't it? Much more modern. This is using the developments that have taken place in, in lightweight fabrics and materials. In fact, this particular one goes up very easily because you've got these spring-loaded joints here. Oh, lovely. So the tent actually goes up in a matter of minutes. But do you have to pay for this new technology? It's not that expensive, actually. And this particular one, you're looking at about £150 or so. Um, the beauty of it is, is the fact that it's the kind of thing, if you want to tour around, you know, just spend a night here and move on the next morning, it's very easy to pack up and of course it's quite lightweight so um, it's Excellent. not taking up too much room in the boot of the car. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the smallest. This is a two-man tent, isn't it? The same sort of setup as that last one, isn't it? The same sort of... Is also, it easy to put up? Also using flexible poles. Yeah. Um, easy to put up. It's lightweight. This is my kind of tent. I go yeah. backpacking in something like this. Um, this is a, a brand new tent. Um, about £250, which is pretty good value considering you've got two berth tent, nice storage space in the front and because of the, the design of it it's making very good use of the space so you've got loads of headroom where you need it. And it packs up very small obviously packs if, down if very you can small. use it as a backpack. This is under three kilos as well so uh, that's quite important nice when you're light. carrying it yourself. So sleeping arrangements and even sleeping bags have changed shape as well. They've, Tell us about these. They've moved on, they used to be these sort of square things yeah. or rectangular. Now we've got the mummy shaped bag which is more efficient. This one here, budget bag with a synthetic filling, £20 upwards, so it doesn't cost you much to stay comfortable. All of these, we've got hoods. This is a sort of mid-price bag, also synthetic filled, a bit more technical. Again, a hood, because you right. lose a lot of heat through your head. Up to this thing, now, uh, backpackers will tend to go for down bags simply because the, the warmth for weight is much, much better. They scrunch down smaller as well. This particular one is a four-season bag, so you can go camping right throughout the year. And how much would it cost? Um, you're probably looking at £200. So you, you pay, really you've, got keen. you've got to be keen. You've got to be keen, keen to pay that money. but a down bag will last you a long, long time. Yeah. Come and show me some of the cooking things, because that's the thing that I'm most interested in. Uh, this is like a, a sort of hob from home, isn't it, this one? It is. It's just like a sort of cut-down version of your own cooker. So with this particular one, we've got two burners here and a little grill, so you can even do your toast. And can you, can you use them in a tent now? Yeah, in a big frame tent like this, you've got enough ventilation so you can set the thing up and, and cook quite safely. Um, you'd have to be a bit more careful in a smaller tent. But tell me about this, because this is one that, that really took my eye. Well, if this looks a bit like the old traditional picnic stove, you're sort of half right. This, in fact, is the very latest technology. It's a catalytic burner, so it's flameless. So you turn it on and press a little clicker and it just heats up. It's just like a miniature ceramic hob. Excellent. I like that a lot. So finally, for anyone who's thinking of going camping, as I am, I'm trying to talk my husband into it, 
What tips and advice would you would you offer? I think the main thing is just don't believe all of these horror stories that people might tell you because they're all 30 years out of date. And borrow if you if, before you buy, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, give, give it a try. If you've got friends who've got equipment, then borrow the stuff, take it out for a weekend. Some camping shops will rent out gear, so it's another good way just to find out if you like it, and then you can go and buy what you like. Clive, thank you very, very much. Now, if you'd like to find out more about any of the leisure pursuits in today's programme, details of how to find out more are in our action pack.